Polish military analyst Moce Korowai on his Twitter profile drew attention to the Rashisti project for the construction of a 500-kilometer military field railway, which, according to the enemy's plan, should connect the temporarily occupied Melitopol and Marupol directly through Berdyansk, and further to the Russian Taganrog. The specificity of this project is that the occupiers want to finish laying this railway only in 2024, and most of the highway should run along the temporarily occupied coast of the Sea of Azov. In essence, it is about the fact that the Rashists want to create an alternative to both the Crimean Bridge and the existing corridor between the occupied Donbass and Crimea, which runs along the cord of Vornovarkopoloja Tokmak Militopol, with such a railway. At the same time, Moche Korovai declares that the Russians are planning to build this main line with two tracks in order to have a high capacity specifically to support the Russian occupation forces. But at the same time, this railway will work on diesel traction, supposedly in order to minimize the possible consequences of the strikes of the armed forces on this highway, although there may be a more prosaic reason the occupiers do not have enough power to power all the systems for this railway. From Defense Express, we consider it necessary to add such points. How realistic it is that the Russians will be able to lay a 500-kilometer railway in only 2024 is a debatable question. Because until this moment, the Russians, in principle, did not even build military field railways on such a large scale from scratch. Probably, in order to speed up the construction process, the occupiers will lay a railway with lighter characteristics, with restrictions on the speed of trains and the weight of echelons.